If you're trying to decide between getting yourself a ball python yes. or a boa, what do we think? Do we want a ball python or do we want a boa? A boa? Yeah, boas, boas are more fun. They're more inquisitive. I believe they're smarter. Ball pythons are really pretty and they come in more colors than any other animal in the world. This is Jack. He's actually from the first clutch I've ever had of ball pythons. From actually the first snake I ever bought. So that's kind of exciting. But as you can see, ball pythons, they kind of just chill. And they're very shy. I think that they're the perfect pet for a uh, baby to uh, like 10 year old. And after that, I really prefer Broas. <laughs> Nothing wrong with ball pythons, it's just that when you look at boas, there's just so much more going on. They move more, they're more inquisitive, and they get bigger. When you hold a small ball python, oh, even, even when you hold an adult ball python, it's, it's not the same as holding a boa. Okay? Just wait. Just relax. Uh, come on. Come on. Let's go find out what Jack is up to. Go, 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 go. No, no, not the light. Leave the light alone. Come on. Come on. Let's go see what Jack is up to. Jack is making babies. So as you can see, this is... I forget her name. What was her name? Is it Jasmine? No, it's not Jasmine. Oh, what's her name? Do we know what her name is? Jules. Jack is making babies with Jules. If we wait long enough, we might see a thrust. Well, I don't know, I'm not really seeing any thrusting, but that's how it's done. And just so that you can see the size. The nice thing with ball pythons is they're so chill. not too big. So they can make a great first time snake and if you're able to not accommodate one of the bigger snakes then these are great. In today's episode we're going to talk about making babies. Yeah! You want to talk about making babies? No. No? Okay well we're not going to talk about making real babies. Well like real babies just not human babies. That might not be very appropriate. Uh, she's going to be dropping some eggs sometime soon. So I'm going to show you how to prepare for incubating. Hey, okay. And this is Siren. She's just shedding also. She's looking nice and plump. This is going to be her first time being pregnant. And we're hoping to get some blue-eyed Lucy's. She's a Mojave. And she was bred to... A platinum lesser. All you're gonna need is I got this container at the dollar store, two dollars. I actually got these fly swatters at the dollar store too. And then we have some vermiculite. Now what I've been doing is kind of like the whole sim container. It's been working very well for me. That's your water. There you go. Yeah. Okay. It's almost time for bed. But trying to be a little bit more productive these days. That's mine. No, Avery. Good girl. You want a little? You want it? You want it? No? Okay. I run my incubator at around 89 degrees. 
put some vermiculite in here. Yep, yep, yep. Let's check it out. That's, that's... We can put a little more. Let's put a little more. Yeah, okay. So... No, no, no. One of my eggs is no good. I had 13 eggs all together. And uh, this is a bad one. It's important that you check your eggs every few days. You can't just leave them to incubate the whole time. When you open up the lid, it gives them a bit of air. And then also, you have to make sure you remove any eggs like this. So, I'm sure that this one is not a good egg because of a test I'm gonna show you. Because I can go in my bathroom, I can turn off all the lights. This is how I do this test. Hi Avery, you wanna come inside? Okay, come, come. It's gonna be dark. No, don't touch. You have to be careful. Okay, one. we're gonna look at this egg like this. Hey, wow, we have a light and a toilet. The bit of poop stains in it, ew, gross. Okay, so. And you put it on top of a light. And you can use your cell phone light. It doesn't really show. Um, it actually looks kind of green inside. Instead of it looking all red and having like these veins and stuff, it has this kind of greenish, yellowish color over here. And there's no veins. If you, uh, the stuff you see like, there's just like crumpled egg and stuff. But um, when you have a good egg, you'll see veins everywhere, and they'll be red. This isn't really showing what it looks like because the egg looks pretty yellow, almost like greeny. So that's how you know that it's not a good egg. Just like this stuff here is going, through, it's like wetting through the egg, starting to mold, and it's just not a good egg. When you get an egg like this, you have to make sure that you remove it. You can make all your other eggs go bad. Yuck. Go yucky. Uh, do we want our eggs to go bad? Do we want our eggs to go bad? What? You want me to put it on the ground? It's yucky though. It's gross, yucky. Do we want our snakes to live, right? Okay, yuck, yuck, no, 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 yucky. Uh, stinky, stinky. Uh, no, okay, that's it. Say bye bye. Bye bye. So, Siren just laid her first clutch of eggs. This is exciting. It'll be my first blue eyed Lucy, hopefully, in this clutch. Let's see if I can move her. Wow. So it's her first clutch and there's seven eggs. That's pretty amazing. I think I got six out of um, jewels on her on her third clutch. So for a first clutch to have seven, that's that's pretty good. So today is a very exciting day. Jules has laid eggs. Oh, look at that. How many eggs do we have this year? And now we have to see if she's gonna be in a nasty mood. Usually Jules has been pretty nice. I think we got six eggs, I'm not sure. Can you just... Film? Mama. It's okay. There's one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if we can just get out. 
Are snakes sure generally protective of their eggs? Yes, they are. And you just try and be gentle. We don't want to bother her. And we have six eggs. Jules has always been a pretty nice snake. We had four eggs the first year, five eggs the next, and now this time we got six. Jack and like all of them came from Jules. Jack is Avery's favorite snake. The, the snake that gets harassed more than all the other Oh, by the way, everyone, this is Matthew's snake room. So organized. I have to clean it, okay? Mm hmm. Just letting you know, behind the scenes. You think he's all perfect and organized? <laughs> Nobody thinks I'm perfect and organized. And I'm glad that you think people think I'm perfect and organized. I've prepared <laughs> vermiculite and water and stuff. So we already have a nice little incubation tray ready and waiting. Yeah. Dinosaur eggs. Yay. <laughs> Yay, six eggs. Why are they stuck together? It protects them. So like in the wild? The thing is that when they're first born, embryo is like floating in it. And then once they lay, the embryo comes up to the top. You can't just keep them all together in a clutch. No, like if one egg goes bad, it's easy to remove them if they're separated. Like if an egg starts going bad or something, if one of the eggs is infertile. If they're attached to each other and one egg goes bad, they're all gonna go bad they get hard and then you can't separate them but like if you get them fresh like within like 24 hours or whatever then um it's a lot easier to uh, separate them I don't want those ones. I want live ones. Live ones are gonna come later. Oh, it's such an exciting day here at Beauty Boas. Baby! Yay, Yay, Avery! Avery, we have baby snakes! Yay! Yay! Oh, look what mom's cooking for us! Oh, she is so talented. I can't do anything like this in the kitchen. Thank you, Mama, for being so amazing. Amazing Mama. Should have a restaurant and call it Mama's Amazing Food. Yay. <laughs> Tell us more, Mama. Is there anything else you'd like to say? My baby, yeah. Oh look, oh my goodness, maybe this one's coming out. My first blue-eyed Lucy. Well, like, Eve is my first one, but this is the first one that is coming out of an egg for me. Oh, it just did a little bubble. It's so cute. There's another one. We got two of them. And the first snake that came out of the egg. There it is. It is a Mojave, I believe. There's another one. Yay! It just popping his head out. Avery, say hi. Say hi. Are you excited? 
Oh no, just steal everyone's cell phones. Look at that, fresh out of the egg. So that's how big they are when they first come out of the egg. Let's go take it into the nicer light. Dun 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 dun! We got babies! Baby snakes! Look at that. So cute. <laughs> Have to give it a little rinse off. Yay! This is your first day of life. How exciting. Yay! Yay! Before the battery dies. Yay, two more came out of the egg. Avery, are you excited? Yeah, we got fresh baby snakes. So here's another one, and another one, and then there's only one more left. So that one will hopefully be out today. Okay, awesome. The final one came out of its egg, and it is a feisty one. Look at it. It's gonna yeah, it's kind of scared. Hi, Snakey. Hi. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> man, one. this one's a feisty one. Man, all of them were nice, like all like 11, and this one seems feisty. But what do we do with feisty snakes? Hmm. What do we do with feisty snakes? <laughs> I don't really feel like getting bit right now. Oh, no. But this no, is what I do. Good. I basically, I rub it, like first, I kind of do that, and then. I hold it. You're holding it? Yeah, there you go. Ugh. We have to face the fear right away. Say being bitey is unacceptable. No, thank you. Okay, here, let's switch. Yeah, so now we're going to take this sniggy, and you can like zoom in by turning that thing. Like you can. Wrong thing. There we go. The thing, you see? So you can be like a creative videographer. All right. I'm going to. So when I get a fresh baby, what I usually do is give it a nice little rinse to get like the slime and stuff off of it. And did you, did you get that? The slime and stuff? The slime and stuff? <laughs> no. Oh, it struck at me. But it's okay. Because it's just like right now it's a little bit scared. And it's going to have to face that fear. And then after I hold it for like 5-10 minutes, it won't be scared anymore. Warm water. It's okay, I'm your friend. Woo! Ooh, I got right. that one, yeah. Yeah, see. Don't worry, be happy. How did you get that? Oh, uh, I can't see your head. Okay, well. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, they like water? water? No, no, let's pretend they don't, but like. It's okay. You gotta get them used to it, right? Just, yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm not really putting my hands in front of its face. Yeah. I might get nipped. I might not. Like lots of the time I don't really get nipped even if they're a little nippy. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Give it a little rinse. And lots of the time I find even giving them this rinse in the first place will kind of like I'm handling them. And it's like nothing, but like it's a little scary, it's a little stressful, but they're realizing, hey, he's not doing anything bad to me, he's just holding me. Mm. And it's just like, I'm just like, I just want to hold you. See, and if it's moving and stuff, that's okay. Here, sit and have a little conversation. Snake talk. Sit and watch and film. Yeah. This is Bernie, he's my co-worker. You can turn around and smile What's if you guys? want. <laughs> I'm gonna get like the best like up, upward. No, never mind. Okay, it's fine. It's like when you turn on selfie mode. Okay. Yeah, so see already? It was striking. Yeah, it's pretty chill now, right? And now, yeah, it might still strike a bit, but it's very important that right from the beginning you, you get that bitiness out of there. 
There is no room in my collection for a nasty snake. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Just like people, you gotta train them when they're young. Don't be afraid of a little nastiness, because like, look, it's a tiny little snake. Is it gonna hurt me? No, if I wanted to crush it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I would never do that. Okay? <laughs> Not that I would. All you keyboard warriors out there. Uh. <laughs> like one day someone's gonna like point to this, it's like, he just said he's gonna like kill a snake oh by God. crushing it in his fingers. It's like, <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said, when you compare how tiny it is and how harmless. See, it was just scared of me and it has every right to be. In the wild, when they're born, they're at the bottom of the food chain, so everything else will eat them. Mm -hmm. But as soon as right from the beginning, you let them know, you know what, I'm not scared of you, we're gonna be friends. This one will probably take food faster than the other ones. Because he's feisty? Yeah, because he's just like, he's good to go. Oh, also, so you know it's a boy, right? No, I don't, I don't. Oh, we're just guessing right now. I'm just guessing right now. I could find out, but usually I like to wait until they have their first shed. Hmm. And then afterwards I'll sex them. Yeah, but like, see how we went from a snake that was like, saying, no, leave me alone. Oh, that's pretty good. And now, and that's, this is key to training them. I play with their face. If they can be okay with me touching their face, they'll be okay with anything. <laughs> See? So, like, how long did it take to tame that snake? <laughs> how long have we... We're started? at five minutes, so... Okay, like... so, so in five minutes we took a snake that was scared, and now, look, it's flicking its tongue, it's looking around. Is it trying to bite me or anything? Hmm. No. So it's just like that little effort, especially in the beginning, it goes a long way. And sometimes people are like, how are your snakes so chill? How are they so chill? Well, it's just because like, I put this time in from the time they're out of the egg or from the time they come out in the litter, especially the first few days. Mm -hmm. uh, right here, they actually have belly buttons. Oh. Where they that. like absorb everything, and this one has absorbed everything. But sometimes um, the boas will have little umbilical cords, and these ones will have little things sticking out. So I'll wait for them to like absorb all that, and once they have, then I'll spend 15 minutes with each baby, and I'll do that kind of on rotation. I'll have a 15 minute timer, spend 15 minutes with each baby, and I'll do that on rotation every few days until they're just chill and then once they're chill they stay that way but if for instance I avoided this snake because it was like nippy and I'm like oh no yeah. I got a nippy one and I just didn't touch it and only fed it it would stay nippy yeah and then if it's been nippy for like a few years or something it's that much it. harder uh -huh. to get it out it's like when they have that fear it's almost like the fear that they have naturally mm -hmm. and when they have it it is very hard to kind of get rid of it mm -hmm. Whereas once, well, it's you can still get rid of it, but it's a lot easier if right from the beginning, you take that fear away from them. And this snake is not afraid anymore. That's great. So it's just like, it was scared, now it's not scared, you got to witness it. <laughs> First hand. Yeah. And I won't sell a snake to someone if it's biting. So I'll make sure that I go through this process with each and every one. So it's like you go, you take home a snake that you can touch it in the face, and it's not going to be nippy. Yay! Awesome. Good. Wonderful. Cool. Okay. Thank you. So this is all the babies from the second clutch of ball pythons this year. We have two Mojaves, I believe these are, two, I don't know, Blue-Eyed Lucy's, because it's, I don't even know if they're called like a Super Lesser or a Super Mojave, because it's like I put a Lesser and a Mojave together, so they made Blue-Eyed Lucy's that way. Tell me what they're called if you know. Um, and then these two I think are just Lessers. This one's more yellow though. So. I have to ask some people about that too. Wonderful. So these are the babies from the second clutch. I got two blue eyed Lucy's, two Mojaves, 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 whatever. 
And two lessers. Yay! Yay! Sweet. You're supposed to say yay. Yay! So, it's a very exciting day today. My uh, ball pythons from the second clutch have all had their first shed, and they all did it today, so that's exciting. There's all their sheds. They're all looking fresh. So the pairing was a lesser to a Mojave. So we ended up getting two lessers. The mother was like one of the second snakes I ever bought. It was sold to me as a platinum lesser hit orange ghost stripe or orange ghost. I don't know, something like that, but probably isn't carrying that but it might be who knows and then the mother was a Mojave one of my buddies got him his his first snake and then he went to Japan and let me raise the mama and I told him that if I got any blue-eyed Lucy's I'd give him one he's back now from Japan thank you Adam and um, one of these blue-eyed Lucy's is going to be his. Very exciting. So basically, once they come out of the egg, you leave them alone until they have their first shed. And after they have their first shed, then you can start offering them food. So that's going to be the next part. Which is one of the fun things about having ball pythons. <laughs> I always find ball pythons are a little bit trickier to get eating than boas, but I haven't had any problems. It just seems to take a little longer. I've never had one totally not eat on me or need to eat live. They've all eventually taken frozen thawed. I really don't fuss over it too much though either. If they don't eat one week, I wait a week and then offer it again. If they don't eat the next week, I'll wait another week and then offer it again and eventually get hungry enough to eat. And if they don't, then eventually I start force feeding, but I've never had to do that with a ball python. So that's one good thing, I guess. Whereas the boas seem to eat faster right away, I have had to force feed some of them. There we go. Very nice. So that's our little ball python update. When a snake loves a snake. Oh, baby, my mama. No, 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 no. So this is what snake loving looks like. The male is the one with the pattern and he wraps around the tail of the female or the female wraps around the male. It's like they're holding hands and if you wait you should see a nice little thrust about once every minute or so. This male is an orange dream pastel, and this girl is a champagne. We're not seeing any thrusty action. So deep in concentration. Well, let's see if they're even attached. Are they attached? It's okay, it's okay. Are you guys attached? Yep, there's a winky in there. There you see. The male winky pops out and goes inside the girl. Yep. And she's like, what are you doing? Leave me alone, can't you see we're busy? We're busy, leave us alone. Uh-oh. 
Oh, Xenon, you're so cute. Okay, have fun. See you later. So cute is munching away. Nom 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 nom. Oh, he's having fun. Let's see if the other ones are at it. Nope, just cuddling. No special actions. When a man loves a woman, Theseus, ah, don't bite me. Don't bite me. He gets a little crazy when it's feeding time. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, the spider gene at its finest. A little wobble followed by an attack. Theseus was my first snake. And he's a spider. And he's doing wonderful. We got brand new babies. Are you excited? You want to hold it? Okay, so put your hand like this. Yeah, here. Hold it, two hands nicely. Like that. Smile, here. Hold nice and gentle, gentle, it's a baby. It's a baby, gentle. Okay? Wow, there you go. Is that nice? Yeah? Do you like baby? It's a baby snake. Yeah, hi, say hi. Hi. Yeah, that's like Jack's sister. Be very gentle. Good girl. Very gentle. Hi. Yeah, say hi. So we got brand new babies. Hi. Yeah, we got brand new babies. Yeah. You want to show everybody? Hi. Oh. Hi. hi. Okay, here. Thank you. Hi. Good. You see? <laughs> wow. I got brand new babies. <laughs> They're ball pythons doing what they do best. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go. Say hi. 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 Gentle, hi. gentle. Hi. Very gentle. Good girl. Hi. Good girl. <laughs> Everything's fine. Did she come out to say hello? I think it's a girl. I hope it's a girl. Last time we had all boys. What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do That's it! exciting, huh? Yes, you can! Just okay, do it! Okay, say bye to everybody. Bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> See ya. Mwah! Did we get a kiss? Mwah. Good. Bye bye, snake. Okay, give it a little bye bye, bye bye, gentle touch. Gentle. Oh, bye bye. Bye. Good girl. Okay. See you later. So, I have my first ball python hatchling of the year. Yay. It looks like it's a bumblebee. I'm not really sure though. I think, yeah, it's a bumblebee. Mm, I think there we have a queen bee. And there's one normal. And there's a spider there. Exciting. So it's first day of life. Yay. Yeah.